Tinola is a popular Filipino sub dish that is typically made with chicken, ginger, green papaya, and chili pepper leaves. The ingredients are simmered in a clear broth until the chicken is cooked through and the vegetables are tender. Tinola is often seasoned with fish sauce or salt to taste and is usually served with rice. Tinola is a staple dish in the Philippines and is often enjoyed as a comfort food or as a main dish for lunch or dinner. The dish is simple to make and is known for its subtle, yet flavorful, taste. The tender chicken, slightly sour green papaya, and warming ginger make it a delicious and nourishing dish that is enjoyed by people of all ages. In addition to being a popular dish in the Philippines, Tinola is also enjoyed by people in other countries with a large Filipino population, such as the United States and Canada. It is considered a classic Filipino dish and is widely regarded as a delicious and comforting food that is representative of the country's rich culinary heritage. Adobo is a classic dish in Filipino cuisine that is known for its savory, tangy, and slightly salty flavor. It is made by braising meat, typically chicken, pork, or beef, in a mixture of vinegar, soy sauce, garlic, bay leaves, and black peppercorns. The dish is typically simmered until the meat is tender and the sauce is thickened, resulting in a delicious and satisfying meal. One of the unique things about adobo is that it can be made in a variety of ways, as there are many different regional variations throughout the Philippines. Some variations include using coconut milk, adding onions or ginger, or using a different type of vinegar. Despite these variations, the basic ingredients of vinegar, soy sauce, garlic, bay leaves, and black peppercorns remain consistent across most adobo recipes. The dish has a long history in the Philippines, with roots that can be traced back to the Spanish colonial period. During this time, Spanish settlers brought ingredients such as vinegar and soy sauce to the Philippines, which were then combined with indigenous ingredients such as garlic and bay leaves to create the dish that is now known as adobo. Adobo is typically served with steamed rice, which helps to balance out the tangy flavor of the sauce. It is also a versatile dish that can be enjoyed in a variety of ways, such as in a sandwich or served as a main dish with vegetables on the side. Additionally, it can be made in large batches and stored in the refrigerator or freezer, making it a convenient and easy dish to prepare. In conclusion, adobo is a staple in Filipino cuisine that is loved for its savory, tangy, and slightly salty flavor. It is a versatile dish that can be enjoyed in many different ways and is a must-try for anyone who loves traditional Asian cuisine. Papaitan is a Filipino dish that is made with beef tripe and innards, such as the liver and intestines, simmered in a sour and spicy broth. The broth is usually seasoned with ginger, garlic, onions, and chili peppers, and is often made sour with the addition of vinegar or lemon juice. Some recipes also include the addition of bile, which gives the dish its distinctive bitter taste. Papaitan is traditionally served with rice and is often enjoyed as a main dish for breakfast or lunch. The dish is said to have originated from the Ilocano region of the Philippines and is a popular dish in the northern part of the country. It is also enjoyed in other countries with a large Filipino population, such as the United States and Canada. Papaitan is a flavorful and filling dish that is enjoyed by many people for its bold and spicy flavors. The combination of sour, spicy, and bitter flavors in the broth, along with the tender texture of the beef tripe and innards, make it a unique and delicious dish that is representative of the Philippines' rich culinary heritage. Crispy peta is a popular Filipino dish that consists of a deep-fried pork hock or knuckle. The pork is usually marinated in a mixture of spices, such as soy sauce, garlic, and bay leaves, before being boiled until tender. Once the pork has cooled, it is then deep-fried until the skin is crispy and golden brown. 
Crispy pata is often served as a main dish and is a staple at many special occasions, such as parties and celebrations. It is typically accompanied by a dipping sauce, such as a vinegar-based sauce, and is enjoyed for its tender meat and crispy skin. The dish is popular in the Philippines, and is also enjoyed by people in other countries with a large Filipino population, such as the United States and Canada. Crispy pata is a delicious and satisfying dish that is enjoyed by many people for its bold and savory flavors. The combination of tender meat and crispy skin, along with the flavorful dipping sauce, makes it a standout dish in the Filipino culinary tradition. Sinigang is a sour soup or stew that is a popular dish in the Philippines. It is characterized by its tangy flavor, which comes from the use of soaring agents such as tamarind, kamias, green mangoes, or guava. The sour flavor of sinigang is balanced by the use of savory and spicy seasonings, making it a unique and flavorful dish. Sinigang can be made with a variety of meats and seafood, such as pork, beef, chicken, shrimp, or fish. The meat is typically slow-cooked in a broth with the soaring agent and a mixture of spices, such as onions, garlic, ginger, and peppercorns, until it is tender. Vegetables such as tomatoes, eggplants, okra, and radishes are also added to the stew, giving it a variety of textures and flavors. Sinigang is typically served over steamed rice and is a staple of Filipino cuisine. It is a comfort food that is enjoyed by many Filipinos, especially during the rainy season, and is a popular dish for family gatherings and special occasions. Whether it is made with a hearty meat or fresh seafood, sinigang is a flavorful and satisfying dish that is loved by many. Lechen is also a popular dish in other countries in the Caribbean and Latin America, where it is known by different names and may be prepared with slightly different spices and cooking methods. Regardless of the specific recipe, lechen is widely regarded as a delicious and celebratory dish that is enjoyed by people from many cultures. In the Philippines, lechen is a beloved dish that is deeply rooted in the country's cultural heritage. It is a staple at special occasions, such as weddings, festivals, and religious celebrations, and is often the centerpiece of the feast. In the Philippines, lechen is usually roasted using traditional methods, with the whole pig being seasoned with a mixture of spices and slow cooked over a pit filled with charcoal. The Filipino version of lechon typically uses a mixture of salt, pepper, garlic, and sometimes vinegar or lemon juice to season the skin and meat. Some cooks also add bay leaves, lemongrass, or other herbs to the mixture for extra flavor. The pig is slow roasted for several hours, usually with the aid of a bamboo spit, until the skin is crispy and the meat is juicy and tender. In the Philippines, Lechen is often served with rice and a variety of dipping sauces, such as vinegar or soy sauce, and is a staple of many special occasions, such as Christmas, New Year's Eve, and fiestas. The dish is enjoyed by people of all ages, and is widely regarded as a delicious and festive food that is representative of the Philippines' rich cultural heritage.